Dear viewers, hello and welcome. My name is Thomas Böte and I'm product manager for Cherry's Energy Harvesting Solutions. Today I would like to introduce you to our new evaluation kit generation and show you some features. The kit demonstrates the function and the switching behavior of our energy harvesting technology. It helps you to measure the received power, do some range testing and allows you a first trial of our products in your application. The new evaluation kit contains an energy harvesting generator, the core element of our energy harvesting technology. Two energy harvesting RF switches, one in a rocker and one in a snap switch housing. Both are available as 868 or 915 MHz versions. The receiver with several output interfaces such as 48 or 230 volt low voltage relay, TTL interface and USB. With our technology in general, there are many more options, also bus interface like RS485 for example. An antenna bushing for the receiver, a USB cable for connecting the receiver with a computer. And finally, a getting started manual and a short form receiver manual. Before getting started, get your evaluation kit registered online and download the drivers and software for the kit to your PC. The next step is to pair a transmitter like one of the switches from the kit to the receiver. Connect the receiver to the computer for power supply. Press the right button for two seconds until the right LED flashes yellow. Trigger a signal on the transmitter and press the right button briefly. The green LED on the left lights up and the right LED is off. The transmitter is now paired with the receiver. Triggering the transmitter will result in a flashing of the yellow LED on the right Plus, you can hear the switching noise from the receiver relay for each transmitted signal. If you do not touch anything for more than two minutes, the procedure will stop automatically. Let's now have a look at the radio monitor software in more detail. After installing the USB driver according to the instructions, the green LED on the receiver board is lighting and you can start radio monitor exit. In a first step, you need to identify the COM port to which the receiver board is connected. Choose one COM port and verify it by activating your energy harvesting switch. If you choose the right port, the switch displayed on the monitor will change its switching state and the next button gets activated. If not, please choose a different COM port and repeat the procedure until you found the right port. Then click the next button. Now the monitor provides you with the following information. Switching state Unique ID of the recently activated switch, list with all received messages and the signal strength of the received signal. This list can be cleared by pressing the clear button. You can also export all this information into a TSV file for a data analysis in Excel. If you activate the auto log off feature, all the information are recorded automatically and can be saved afterwards. With a config engineer, 
the software provides you with the option to ignore signals of selected switches. Only signals of transmitters with checked boxes are monitored by the software. The two numerators in the lower window show how many actuated and released signal telegrams have been received. I hope you like this video and are now even more excited about our wireless energy harvesting switches. For more information on the Evaluation Kit and our other products, please visit www.cherryswitches.com. Thanks and see you next time.